Welcome to Let's Play NASCAR 2005 Chase for the Cup Part 83. And in the segment, it's time to go trucks in as we're going to Kansas Speedway for the O'Reilly Auto Parts 250 because every race has to be sponsored by O'Reilly in this game, especially if it's a truck race. So off to Kansas we go. Bill Weber, do your thing. EA Sports welcomes you here today for the running of the O'Reilly Auto Parts 250 at the Kansas Speedway. These NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series drivers are sure to put on quite a show for us here today as they prepare to take on this unique one and a half mile track. All of today's up and coming drivers are looking to make their mark on the season here in this event. The start of the action here from the Kansas Speedway is just minutes away. Yeah, so Kansas. It's actually going to be an interesting race. I did qualify on the pole. Took a couple laps because, yeah, but stuff. So there's your starting grid for the truck race. I did not look at a single thing of it because I was uh, looking at other stuff. And <clears throat> away we go. 41 laps here around Kansas. The sad bear leading the field into turn one. And there goes Quapple. As soon as I hit fourth gear, acceleration dies. Hooray. But we're good. Everything's fine. Just gotta be careful here in the turn three. Gotta be wary of the arrow loose that I could be getting. Aerodynamic oversteer. we got a really good run out of turn four. We're gonna dive to the inside of Fantasy Driver whose name I don't know. Try to take second back. Oh. Truck is understeering as the radius of the turn decreases. Who tries Quapple? Fucking Quap. Quap is great. Or at least it was when it was relevant. <clears throat> oh, it looks like we had a little incident here. Further back of the field. Didn't really split up the field, but we had an incident. Ooh, diving on the inside of Quapple for the lead. It's gonna be no room in the T1. Come on, Travis. Work with me here. Give and take, man. Give and take. You give me the lane so I can take the lead from you. Or not. Okay. Travis, please. I swear to God. I swear on me, Mum. If I can just stay along his inside here off of four, I might have him. But, you It's a little too much understeer for me. Carrying just a little too much speed. At least attempting to. So. He holds the lead for now as I royally fuck up the entry into turn one. Down to third. We're good. Everything's fine, though. Swoop back on the inside. Oh, a little too low. Touching the apron. Come on, truck. Come on, sad bear. We can do this. <clears throat> Alright. I don't know why I decided to share a draft flopple here, but fuck it. <clears throat> it's a good hard race in here. At Kansas. Travis. Trying to pull a little gap on the rest of the field as I follow him. Oh, man. swing back to the inside. All right. Tip two. Will I get him this time? Come on. Come on, those. Give me some grip. Oh, jeez, crap. Crack, Kokaku. The fuck was that, Trav? We weren't even at the turn yet. We started to turn in. What the heck you doing, boy? Oh, well, it allowed me to take the lead at least. Got me doing five bonus points for leading the lap. Now. How long will I be able to hold this lead? That is the next question. Not very long if I, uh, Enter turn three like that. Oh, jeez. How you doing, Mr. Kvapple? Fuck. Moving up. 
Of course, Travis is moving up as well. Don't know why. This is kind of following me up the track. I really need to work on my fucking turn three entry. Holy crap. Alright, well, back into the lead goes Mr. Kvapel. Now, Trav, I'm not playing your fucking game. Oh, jeez. Why am I doing so bad here in turn three? It looks like we had another mix up further down the field. Lots of smoke. Blindly into the smoke. Jump in the fire. Okay. Really hoping I could just fucking throw my truck to the bottom and get underneath Quapple, but the uh my tires decided to not play ball. Come on, man. Get you gotta do it. Clear, We're good, everything's fine. Ten laps complete. Thirty one to go. We've only finished a, not quite a quarter of this race. It's been <clears throat> one exciting battle. And it's only going to get worse for me as my tires wear out. Like, these next ten laps are probably going to be uh, a fucking mess. Because tire wear... Go, go. Oh my god. I'm already feeling the loss of grip. <clears throat> it doesn't feel good. No, no, no. Do not do that. Let's keep going way too low into three. Just way too low. Like, yes, I need to be on the bottom, but not that far. Help. This is the first race tonight where I've actually had to put forth effort into getting around the turns. Apparently I can't do that. Because Rockingham was simple. Because all I had to do was just lift off the throttle a little bit and the car's just like, okay, grip. Then Daytona is, well, Daytona. Plus no understeer. Plus no three wide. Don't do it. Don't fucking do it. I will cut you. A big old pile of trucks behind me. Quickly losing grip. I think. I don't know if I actually am. Who knows? Maybe it's just a subconscious thing. There's the tire wear. Tires worn message. It's like six laps before halfway. So six laps before my minimum, my pit window opens. I want to have that one lap fresher tire for the end. Oh shit. Bad entry, bad entry, very bad entry. And around goes Lester, or at least he's attempting to. And failed. Alright. Too much straight line speed. Oh fuck. Oh god. Taking air off my spoiler is Lester. Holy shit. Barely survived that. Bill, please. Stop this. Stop this right now. 
Oh, God. Very aggressive pit entry by, uh... The fuck was that? Chaffin. Yeah, in the 18. Alright, well now that fucking Lester almost murdered me. Let's just continue falling down. Lester, there is like a whole five lanes underneath you. You can use those, my dude. Yeah, just like that. There you go. You're figuring it out. You're learning. Jesus Christ. Okay, down to seventh. Eighteen laps complete. So three more till halfway. Here comes Sprague. Shit, touching the apron. <laughs> Ass got a little happy on the apron. We're good. Everything's fine. Jesus Christ. At least I'm not lacking in straight line speed for once. I'm, however, lacking greatly in grip right now. Halfway lap. Do I want to try some kind of strategy game here? To maybe have even fresher tires at the finish, or should I just make it even? I think I'm just making it even. So, let's see if I can enter the Kansas pit lane without fucking it up immensely. Answer is yes, actually. Alright, cool. Okay, no damage to repair, at least none that will take any extra time. So that works. Okie dokie. Oh, well, that was a very interesting first half of this race. Very interesting, in fact. Interest was like up here, man. Like over the head. Like a lot of it. I don't know what I'm saying, I'm sorry. Moving on. And no mistakes from pit crew. Awesome. Yeah, chat kind of died. Everyone's just silently watching me just go down the field. Or, yeah. Blue spots. No. Okay. Almost fucked the re entry. We're good. Almost LePage and myself. Everything is fine. Doing a proper merge. There we go. Proper merge has been complete. Now let's take use of this, uh, these fresh tires, and also any rubber banding that the game might be doing, because of my quick fall down the order. Slap that base. So you say that map, that's not even the base that's being slapped. It's just like a fucking nine string or something. This is a big pile of trucks. I really need to get around these guys, but at the same time, I'm scared. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna... Oh, okay. I'm just gonna understeer. Oh, there goes a lot of them. Don't have to worry about those. Alright. Suddenly, the big pile is a lot smaller. That was bamboozled. Yeah. Welcome to... Welcome to metal. Where every guitar has at least eight strings. And the bass really isn't even required because of how low the strings are. Oh my god. Excuse me, pardon me. Coming through. Looks like I lost quite a bit of track position from the uh, pit cycle. But... I'm okay with that. Today's a birthday. Well, happy birthday, Andrew. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Careful, careful. Don't wanna die. And everything cycled through. Alright. So, down to 17th. Okay. 
Metal pleb. Been getting into black and extreme recently. Oh. Ooh. Get into that crazy shit. Question is, have you experienced the wonderful uh he, yeah, he experienced that as Mashoga? AKA the heaviest matter in the entire fucking multiverse. Eh, you made it, Jake. Good. Good. Piping hot. That's what it said on the panel of that truck. Meanwhile, I'm gaining spots here. Gotta use that grip while I have it. Not yet. He needs to. Everyone needs to learn the amazingness of Mashuga. What console is this on? Xbox. This is the console I'm using. This one album you had to listen to four times to begin to understand what's going on. Yeah, it sounds like metal. It takes a few listens to, like, you know, fully comprehend anything that's happening. But once you do, oh, once you do, let me fucking tell you. It's a wonderful, uh, experience. Oh, God. No touch. No touch achieved. kind of music you tattoo artists played. Nice. Yeah, you usually get stuff like, you know, metal or hard rock and like tattoo places. Both private and public. There are three wide behind me. I'm a slightly doing a concern. Okay, they settled it. Ah, I keep fucking up turn three. Good, everything's fine. Managed to pull my way almost back up to the top ten. Fortunately, it'll be all for naught because I'll be moving back down the order in these last ten laps. With my uh, what's my tire start wearing? Oh god! Or I can just hit the apron like a dumbass. Get that oversteer. Hey, Austin. All right, ten to go here at Kansas. Just try to get as good of a finish as I can. Is this? Uh, anyways, and before I crash because of that pun. Tell you what, Chaff. Crafton. I almost said Chaffin for some reason. No, Crafton is all over my ass. He has been for the last few laps. Excuse me. Oh, shit. My bad. Didn't mean to actually hit you. Oh, now we get the understeer because I did not have proper entry. Because I didn't have enough road to do a proper entry into T1. Fucking crafting. Just all up on my ass. Anyways, we're back into the top 10. And about to take 9th and possibly 8th. Ooh, some sparks coming out of, uh, I think that was Setzer's truck up ahead. Not an issue, just random sparks for no reason. He just bottomed out, it's okay. Come on, give me the grip. I fuck. I hide him. That was me just moving up too much. Meanwhile, Mr. Fucking Goodwrench over here.
Still all over my ass. Oh, starting to lose grip. Cars are starting to give away. Six to go. I should have been lapping faster than Quapple. Got the down, gap down to six seconds. I think I was like seven and a half behind once everything cycled. Like at the end of the pit cycle. Something like that. I don't know. There's the tires warm message. Alright, these last five laps are going to be really interesting. No, you don't. You stay behind. Oh, yeah, fucked it. You no longer stay behind. Ooh, but can I get a good exit? Right back down on the inside. The crossover. So I almost get my ass blasted. Ooh, still there, still there. Got the momentum. Got the acceleration, got the position back. Nice. Oh god, brakes. It's a little too too fast into turn one. Luckily, I had brakes. I slowed down too much. God, three to go. Giant pile of trucks that I'm leading. That's not scary at all. Oh, and damn it. No, no three wide. Please, no three wide. God damn it. Fuck, 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 fuck. This is where things go horribly wrong. Because I'm aggressive. Yeah, there we go. Fucked it. Well, there goes that good race. I ruined it. Ruined it. Ruined it, ruined it. I was really hoping I could just barely clear the 116, but not quite. Ah, uh, damn it. I'm sad now. Well, green, white, checkered. Let's do this. Two laps to go. And boy, this was a shitty launch, because... The game restarted me in third gear when I needed to be in second. Oh god, cold tires, no grip, everything is fuck. Sliding everywhere. I probably could have actually got a top 10 finish had I not done that. At least I would have had a better chance than I do now. Alright, here we go, final lap. Here at Kansas. So, is everybody going to start going slow now? Oh, Crafton isn't. Oh. Checking up a little bit in front of me. The exit of two. Top ten is still alive. Come on. Grip. Please. Just enough grip. Oh, yes. Can I steal a spot from Sprague? Nope. Okay. Ninth place. Yeah, and a massive crash at the finish. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. That was good. That was really good. Ah. Those are the kind of races I like. They're super stressful, because I'm really bad at driving around other tr vehicles. But, damn, is it exciting. So, Quabble gets the win. Brandon went second. A couple Johnsons, fifth and sixth. Alright. I think they're both fancy drivers as well. I finished ninth from the pole. So, top ten. That was, uh... That was crazy. That was very crazy. There is all the results of the race. Everybody finished and on the lead lap. That's always good. Yeah, we get the happy cutscene. We get the happy cutscene for finishing ninth, but we get the sad one for finishing third at Red Ball. Explain that, atheists. I don't know.
Looks like I'm gonna have a choice to make in the next for the next segment. Ooh. But there we go. Here are the updated standings. Hold on to my point lead. Actually, gain a little bit on Edwards in second, since he finished right behind me. So, hooray! But it ain't over yet. Still got a long way to go in this truck championship. So, that'll conclude this very crazy, exciting segment. And uh, with that, we'll move on to our next race next time. Stay tuned for more NASCAR. NASCAR.